everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report, and I'm very excited to welcome Samara Brown from The Voice to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. Samara, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Hillary. How are you? Really great. Thank you. And I want to start <laughs> off by congratulating you on your battle round singing Aretha Franklin's Something He Can Feel with Brittany Bree. How are you feeling oh, during the you performance? So Oh, I feel just like mind blown. I mean, it was so much fun. Um, we both uh, became really close while working on the song. So like we both very connected and I felt very comfortable being with her on the stage. So like we both were just having a good time and then just like all the coaches reaction and then like what happened afterward, it was just, it was just so crazy. I'm just like incredibly excited and just like in shock. <laughs> Well, it was incredibly exciting to watch. And, you know, John chose Brittany Bree as the winner of the battle, but Kelly and Ariana immediately swooped in to steal you and John used his save on you. How tough was it for you to choose amongst the three of them? It was so tough, almost an impossible choice. It was more coaches than I had for my blind audition. So I was just like completely overwhelmed. And to make a decision in that moment, I just like, I was very, very close to choosing another coach. <laughs> But in the end, I, I had to go with John. There's a lot to be said for loyalty and, you know, carrying down the road with the person you originally started off with. What's it been like working with John and also Camila Cabello? Oh, gosh. It was so such a surprise to see her there in the first place. Like, I had seen her um, when she was on a singing show herself. So, like, to see her in person was, like, so incredibly amazing and then john he's he's just like a very very sweet like very relatable coach like you know he's not very stern or strict he's just like really real with you and also he's like he we have a lot in common because all me Brittany, and him all grew up in church so we both all have that connection and that like similarity where we we relate with each other on that so being him being my coach is just like I I have we have a great time. We all are enjoying the music. We all are enjoying each other's company. It's it's so dope. Well, what are your thoughts, you know, looking forward a little bit in the season on working with mega mentor Ed Sheeran? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, um, I'm gonna be mind blown, really, because I'm not sure what he's gonna say. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be singing yet or anything. So it's just gonna be so, so crazy to see him there and perform in front of him and John. The anxiety is gonna be through the roof for me. <laughs> I wanna rewind to your blind audition of Sweet Thing by Rufus and Chaka Khan. Did you have a strategy going in on which coach you would choose or what you wanted to happen? What was your ideal scenario? I mean, well, at least I was hoping I get at least one chair turn, no matter which coach it is. I would have been completely grateful. But um, if I did get more than one, I was hoping that it was going to be John. I've I've followed his music career since his very first album, Get Lifted. And we just have a lot of similarities in our styles and the type of music that we like to perform. So I felt the most connected with him. But um, I have to say that, you know, I was also leaning a little bit towards Kelly and Ariana. I wasn't sure, like, if they both turn, what I was going to do. And Ariana did turn, but I still was just like, I have to go with, I have to go with my gut. And I went with John. Well, it's definitely been working out, but you also have a history because your sister Amanda was on season three. So tell us a little bit about that and what you learned from it, it how, what her role in this is with you right now. It was such a different experience uh, being there with her so many years ago, it was like nine years ago. And um, to witness her in that you know level, it, it kind of was just like very inspiring and very, um, 
also just so wonderful to see her being given that opportunity, the possibility of that opportunity, because, you know, I believe she deserved it for for years and years. And then now, you know, for me to be on the show, she has been incredibly supportive and just like giving me tons of advice and like what to do and what to look for. And this is how this is going to be kind of pretty much giving me like the low down backstage stage before you know everything even happens so it's been it's been quite of an asset actually in the competition for me and I've been so appreciative of it of her helping me well it's been quite a journey so far and I've so much enjoyed watching you but Samara we have to wrap up our happy hour I wanted to end it I want to propose a toast to you and your continued success on The Voice Oh, thank you. I like your champagne glass. Your glass is so much fancier than my glass. <laughs> well, let's just toast and cheers to continued success. All right. Thank you so much, Hillary. Cheers. Thank you, Samara.